You're listening to the award-winning Curvaceous Valley of Sin City on Vegas, allnetradio.com. We have had such a fun show. This motherfucker over here mocking me. <laughs> Stands me up. Doesn't want my blowjob. And lies now about me. it. Lies about it on the fucking air. Okay, first off, you weren't there. Please stay out of this. This is between me and <laughs> I gotta stick with my girl. So are you going to make it up to me? Absolutely. Promise? Yes. He did offer a threesome. I got you a threesome. A little bit of anal. I don't want, uh, you're talking the wrong girl. You're playing with the spokes. I don't want my spokes played with. Well, yeah, no Alaskan pipelines either. <laughs> That's okay. We're just going to make it work. We're in a hot pocket for that matter. Ew. <laughs> and the <laughs> dirty Sanchez is out. <laughs> what about a Cleveland steamer? Ew, no. No, no Cleveland corn, though. Steamers. You don't want corn there because it'll no. cut you. <laughs> Wait a minute. I, all I know that at this moment, this conversation, Sierra is my spokeswoman. <laughs> Not <laughs> what all you're talking about. <laughs> She's your translator. Today's nasty interpretation is <laughs> by Sierra. But Sierra, I know she will never, like, like, you know, like, deceive me. I'll get the truth because I have a kid <laughs> every day. <laughs> That's a good way to get information out of it. Ah, uh, no. Yeah. All right. Sierra. Well, Mama said she had to talk about somebody that she had some business with today. I, I, or this week. Not, yeah, it was this week. I, for, I forgot in, in my catch up, and um, it's one of those things where it, it gets to be a sensitive situation where um, when you post shit on Facebook and you touch people's lives. Oh. And I had a guy that contacted me and um, asked me because um, he saw my pictures of that. I, I posted them this week, but he had seen them prior to that. Um, my prior to my surgery pictures and um, he was asking me questions about how you know I lost my weight and and stuff like that so I was like you know go, go, going back and forth with him and he was telling me that um, he wasn't sure how much he weighed and you know he said that his friend said that he weighed 800 to a thousand pounds and he wasn't sure and I said well you know I, I really don't know because um, even when I was um, at my highest weights and even like the 500 when I walked into the doctor's office that time um, nobody guessed ever that I weighed that much because I'm taller and I and I carried it evenly and and stuff like that so um, but I, I talked to him for a little bit and I told him you know my journey so far and basically um, I think he's going to go to the doctor and find out exactly his weight and whatever it is that he decides to do with that from there on then you know at least he'll know something so I kind of felt kind of touched because that's great follow his progress mama yeah exactly that's a, like an inspir yeah. you were an inspiration <laughs> to somebody that's very <laughs> no that's very cool that you were an inspiration to somebody like that that's just, really I cool. mean just awesome. even to answer somebody's questions yeah. to be there to say I was there. And to too, know that, you know? that 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 they they found you and felt comfortable enough to ask yeah. you those questions. That's yeah. awesome. And it, it was nice because it wasn't a I, I I love you. I want to be your yeah. wife. Yeah, yeah. It was a cam with me. <laughs> cam with me. Right. Yeah. Penis, penis, penis. Right. So yeah, it was an honest to goodness somebody that really wanted to talk to me about something I've been through. That's awesome. Okay. So tell for Mama when she's getting emotionally upset. The whole center of her face starts to turn red. It does. <laughs> it starts <laughs> to die. Very tip of the nose, right. and yeah. it blossoms out like a pretty little flower. That's so sweet. I All right, Sierra, it. we're dying for your right, catch-up. <laughs> no. Thanks, Mama. That that, that was, was a good, that story. Was a good story. story. That's a good story. Hi, y'all. <laughs> um, so my catch-up this week. I had to take the car to the shop, and I was very worried that it was going to cost a lot of money because it was overheating and I knew it was overheating from the thermostat housing and it had an oil leak on top of the engine. I fixed the one in, in the bottom of the engine. And you're a girl and guys at shops like to rip girls off. I, I hate taking any car. Well, out. except when you walk into a shop and you go, well, I'm pretty sure it's overheating because it's bubbling out of the thermostat housing, so I'm pretty sure you need a new gasket, new thermostat, new housing. And, and I know I'm leaking oil from the top of the engine. I just can't decide if it's the valve cover or something else. And they usually stop trying to rip you off at that point because then they know you know what you're talking about. So I would do most of the work on my car myself, except A, I don't have the time, and B, I'm not allowed to do that in the, co in the community that we live in. And so. C, you don't want to mess up your nice nails. And C, well, actually, I can do a lot of shit with my nice nails. I'll just have you know. I actually did a whole, um, I had a whole weekend where we had to rebuild. Uh, I was also in the Army. I was a... Uh, 63 Sierra, heavy wheel diesel mechanic. Uh -huh. and, we, and we had to uh, rebuild a, a, an engine at some point, and I had nails done for a party I was going through that weekend. So I did them all with really long, very blue nails. And so Cute. I can do some shit. Okay. Just saying. Okay. So, shit, I broke a nail putting my purse on the back of the chair. Oh, don't get me wrong. I, I've broken it. I've popped a nail, cleaned the fuck off, putting shoes on before. <laughs> so, but, uh, 
Yeah, so I took it in, but we I took it to the mechanic that my mom and I have been using for many, many years, and I dropped it off with them Friday morning. I'm like, this is what's wrong with it, this is what's wrong with it, and then, you know, when it, while you're in there, let me know what else you find. <laughs> Please try to keep it under $1,000. Um, give me a call, and I don't need it until Monday. So they call me Friday afternoon, they're like, so it was leaking from the valve cover, and you're right, it was a thermostat housing, and your spark plugs and your wires all needed to be changed because they were corroded pretty bad. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, okay, lay it on me. And so they're laying on all the things they had to get and all the parts that they did and all the labor that they did. And I am secretly starting to calculate how much money I have stocked away. I'm like, fuck, this is going to cost me a lot of money. And she's like, and it costs a little bit more than we thought it was going to. And I'm like, oh, motherfucker. And she's like, it's going to be $411.15. And, like and I'm like, oh, thank God I love you. And she's like, and it's done. I said, and it's what? She goes, and it's done. It's all done. You can come pick it up right now. I'm like, Everybody's at work or fucking sleeping. I can't come get it now. I said, how much oh, How much are your overnight fees? Can I leave it there till Monday? They said, we don't charge overnight fees. Come get it whenever you want. Nice. That's awesome. So Yay. I'll be picking it up Monday afternoon. I'm so excited. And I knew I had something else to talk about, too. Sex? No sex. Cali no. guys in Cali. Any camera? Skyping? No, no. Not no. really. I, 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 I have a question. Yeah. Do you guys live together? They do. They mentioned that earlier. No. They share shoes. But your wife is there. We don't live together. Oh, that blows my plan. We have cars. We drive. We're mobile. Now, see, wow. my, my wife works actually at the place you were at this week. Ah, oh, see. Oh, one of those two places I was at? Yeah, you know. Aria? Mm -hmm. She works at the Aria. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's a crazy Filipino chick that works at the front desk, so. I'm trying to see. Yeah, we were in the Sky Suite, so I never had to cross the front desk at the area. Oh, so you were in a Sky... Man. Oh, that's yeah. Nice. It was a nice party. You know, she actually took me there on my birthday for oh, the Sky Suite. Oh, this suite Suites. was great. Did you get a corner room? Well, it wasn't my room. I was oh, going I mean, to well, you were in a corner room. Okay. I, I, like, I, I don't to know. Be there. You promised. See, there you This go part again. of the show is brought to you by Hotels.com. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I have a working that. Seriously, though, I almost... Because I know that's that when um, Calypso was on the show, she wanted to go and see me dance. I yes. almost contacted him and said, you want to go be my wingman? Not to strip, just to watch the show on Thursday night. And I didn't know if you'd have enough time to do that. But sometimes I, some one of my my agencies I work for, they either go with me or tell me take some muscle always. Right. This agency that I worked for. I give you no warning. Well, and you know what? I've never needed muscle. Right. I've never had that kind of a problem in a room. Room, Can I be your muscle? Sure. All right. Hey, you guys, I just want to tell you something else, too, since, since give a break from talking about sex and cooking up and all that shit. Um, water aerobics on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm going, and we've kind of, I've been posting it on Facebook, and I kind of got a little group going now. So um, if anybody wants to go, I don't care, guys or girls or whatever, it's water aerobics. and Where and what time? Um, I'm not going to say that. You can, it's at, it's at 10 o'clock on Mondays and Wednesdays. If you want to know the location, you can hit me up on Facebook. Facebook, or if you have my phone number, you can call me, um, either or, and I'll tell you the location. Good job. Cool. That's awesome. I wish I could go. I like, you're like, where and when and stuff. I'm no, like, no, didn't no, you no, guys no, get no. on me about it? <laughs> you know what? I knew, guys, I knew you were doing it one morning, so I was hoping the second one was in the evening, because I can't go in the morning. Well, right now, it's, so. it's Monday and Wednesday mornings. Okay. Um, we haven't done any other research and see if it's like a different times of the day, if they have any more, but um, that's the only ones that I, I know of. I to go. I just... More, I, I and, and you know what? Work. I I just I like the fact it's I, I it's, it's not hard. It doesn't necessarily hard. It's it's basically the the instructor is awesome and um she tells you it you it's whatever you make of it. So if you're working harder or moving quicker or whatever it is that you're doing or you know if you just choose to go do something just to move and that's that's my thing. I'm trying to get on my get back on my get my ass back on track. So so that's it. Um, you guys do reviews around town, and yes. that's about everything, but mainly like restaurants, eateries, and things like that? No, Any place that customer service is a must, we like to review okay. those places. One of the things that we, uh, Silent Mike asked for when we went to Landry's was a nutritional data form. Yes. Um, and I guess, I don't know They're for sure. They're supposed to have them. Uh, they have either to have they either accessible. have to post it, post it online or uh, have it to give it to you. Right. Sheet. And the lady, the hostess came back and said, I'm sorry, the manager said, we do not have one available. That's when you call the health department. 
right, right. that's what, that's what that's hurt. what mike was saying that was like you know they he was like they would shut your ass down if they you yes. didn't have that in yeah. there right now you get, you get well, here's, back. here's the thing they don't have to have it in store they have to have it accessible at any time and the way like subway doesn't there's a couple of places in town that don't have one in store right because they have it online and they they post it clearly well as clearly as a fucking place will you know it's in tiny little print on the bottom of a sign about something else that uh, nutritional data is available online and then they get the website. Now there are some places in town like um, Subway who actually post their nutritional data on the menu. Yeah. And McDonald's. Uh, McDonald's does too. Well they just do like the calories. They calories. don't do fat grams. Well I think like Subway on their uh, napkins they have some of the sandwiches yes, and stuff yeah, like that. It's do. on the back they of the do. napkins. There are some places that are really really good about it. Um, uh, Which Witch in town has a whole menu that they have um, that just shows the nutritional data. That's a good place to go. Um, but but there are there. I've been to a lot of websites where you ask, or a lot of places where you ask for nutritional data. Uh, one of the places we like to go for go to for all you can eat something or other that we sometimes like to lead on a certain night of the week. Yes. They don't have one available at all. Right. And they can't even the 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 managers can't even give you an approximate count on anything. Right. Oh wow. Damn. Now, I. I'm like Sierra. I go informed. So I know what I can and cannot have and what I can risk and what I can't. Right. So I knew that shrimp is very low fat. Uh, the rice pilaf had butter in it, so I, I just barely touched that. I ate all the broccoli, and I used the honey mustard dressing for dipping and all that stuff. So, um, you know, I'm very well informed. Um, one of the things that I wanted to start doing with us is a fat-friendly environment. When, you, when we go to a place like the Outback not being... Very fat friendly. fat friendly. Yeah, we're going to be hitting them up this week for that. Um, another place I've noticed that's not fat friendly is uh, the Olive Garden. All of their chairs have arms on them. Yeah, and they have right. Like maybe they three will, or four chairs that have no arms. They will bring one to the table for you. <laughs> they, yeah, you, you have to. But ask. you do have to ask. You know what? And I think I I have been to uh, Olive Garden a few times where they just automatically did it, which is much nicer. Yeah. yeah. I think that the people they just I it think that the staff the they're not educated. It is the same. Yeah, the staff. And, and you know what? Like if you if all of us were to work at Olive Garden and we seen someone like one of us go move, uh, come to the, we would just automatically put that chair there. Right. Which if is nice. But what no, the Olive people Garden, aren't educated. When, when, when the first thing we do is we come up to the manager and be like, we need to get rid of all these chairs with arms on them and order all the armless ones. Well, I, I know that, you know, when I was larger, that was one of the things about me not wanting to go out and to go anywhere and, and why that makes you go and just want to stay in the house because you don't know when you get there if there's going to be a place for you to sit. If you're going have to stand and wait a long time and and what it is that you're going to do i almost like to the point where having panic attacks before i was going to go out to eat or go mm -hmm. you know to a theater or is the theater going to have the arm where it moves up or you know th things like that that it, it makes you go crazy well and that was a big consideration i know when they're finding a venue like for the bash right you know can the scooters go around the casino chairs right does the restaurant have chair enough chairs well i know i think i heard somebody say about um even in even something that you don't think about in the bathrooms how are the toilets fixed to the wall exactly because yeah. there's if some that only have a 350 weight limit on those toilets fixed to the wall yeah. and there's nothing quite like the hotel going well you can only use this restroom in this hall because we've reinforced the toilet and there. that happened at the gold coast last year yeah damn yeah. yeah you know earlier you were saying about the meal you guys had the chicken was mm -hmm. pretty bad um we um know for a fact that any restaurant you go to with a closed kitchen you have the right by law to say i want to see your kitchen and they cannot stop you from going back there. So you can see if your food was either under a heat lamp or anything like that. So wow. Oh, that's wow. very cool. So if yeah. you say, this isn't right, there's something wrong with this, you say, I'd like to see your kitchen, please. And they have to let you as a consumer. It is law. Wow, I did not that's know that. Yeah, that's if you, good to know. Like if you go to most fast food restaurants, you can see them cooking. Right, you can, so yeah. So you don't have to go in their kitchen. Um, My mom... And I and a couple of family members, my dad came to town. So we took him to go visit my brother who has a store out at Town Square. And we decided to go to Claim Jumpers. Oh, I love Claim Jumper. They wanted to seat us in a booth, which did not have a gap big enough for me. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, I, I, I fit, fit in it just fine, but my boobs are on the table. Right. right? It's that tight that way. And the booth tables don't move. No, they So don't. you can't They didn't at Outback either. My mom went ballistic what <laughs> it was a little embarrassing but it was awesome because it was my mom just 
What are you thinking? My daughter, she fat, but she's still pussing. She can't sit in a booth. Oh, how We great. need a table. And they didn't want to sit us at the table because it was a table for, there was like six of us and it was a table for eight or 12. So they didn't want to save it for a bigger group. Save it for a bigger group, and she yelled. Good for your mom! I haven't. Good for your mom. It was hilarious, and I, you know, I don't get embarrassed by stuff like that. So it was, it was great. But yeah, stand up for yourself. I mean, I, I understand it's, it's, it might be embarrassing, but you are a person. Well, you know, and I was getting on an airline. I used to work for an airline so I could travel for free. And I would always ask the airline attendant, you know, when I checked in, can you block the seat in the middle? And he said, ma'am, I'll be glad to do that. But here's what you need to remember. You paid for the seat just like the person next to you paid for that seat. So if that if it's not can't be done. Don't worry about it. I mean, he was what like, so, the seat in, the in other words, like not save that seat till the end when they have to, oh, you absolutely you. have to put somebody there. Right. You know, so, um, and some agents will do that for you. And That's some, awesome. and this was years ago. This was years ago. I have to tell you that, that it happened. But, or, but or this they, guy was great. And he was a thin um, gay guy who was working and he was like, ma'am, I'll do that for you. But you just remember, you paid for that seat like anybody else paid for that seat. So, so he that was really nice. Is that something that people can do? now when the booking is asked the now i'll not, not when you book when you check in at the gate um that's when i ask you know is there any way to block the seat airlines now like southwest is a piece of shit now because they want to charge you for two seats right. so they probably wouldn't do it but some airlines are very you know if the, if the flight isn't full they can mark that seat to be taken last oh yeah, and, yeah. and if, it's, if it's an airline like southwest where they don't assign seats it's first come first serve they can't do that anyway right Right. So, so, yeah. So, um, or you can also be asked to be sat next to a child, which means you can put the handle up and there's plenty of space. Oh. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Or you can just fly red eye and not have to worry about it because nobody else likes to fly red eye. That's true. I love red eye. Yay, I fucking love children, red eye too. Yeah. Oh, good news. My mom's been going through cancer treatment and she went to the doctor this week and there's been no new growth and everything's doing good and nice. it's all stopped. So I was really, when my mother calls me after 5 p.m. Detroit time, it scares me. Somebody's dead because yeah. she usually calls during the day. And I'm like, mom, why are you calling? It was 530 <laughs> my time. Well, it's good news. It's good news. <laughs> I'm uh, do, do you need to talk about something? No, we don't have time. Okay. Okay. Right, no, we, we, we've got a uh, minute, 14 seconds. We don't have time. Great show. It was. Thank yeah. you guys Thanks so much. You. Thanks for the listening. BabyDaddyGuru.com. Yes. And what and is the other site? BrutalTruthReports.com. BrutalTruthReports.com. And they're fixing their Facebook. They'll be and, there as and, well. And we're working on a date for him to come back. Because he actually wrote, wrote a book. book. Yes, we have Daniel um, who wrote a book. and he And maybe to maybe I'll get over to fix Chewy's pants someday. Yeah. 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 Give him a blowjob. I don't that know. Too. He might have lost that opportunity. You're going to need my Never lost that. I'll hey, you know what? We have next week. <laughs> now, who do we have next week? We have Bree from Well Rounded and Desiree and Platinum should be in studio as well. That's right. So the bash that's taking over, um, uh, Well Rounded, that's going to be happening in downtown Las Vegas at the Union Plaza, which is fabulous. Right. If you've never been to Vegas, downtown Vegas is a great way to experience it. Uh, You can find out all about it uh, with Bree next week. And then, of course, we've got Platinum and Desiree 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 in studio to give us their fabulous updates for fan fits. That's right. It's going to be a great show. This is Alexia, Mama, Sweet Cheeks, and Sierra wishing you all a good night. And remember, fuck often. often.